you're in the middle of an edit, you find the perfect clip for your video, and you drag it into your timeline and go to slow it down, but you quickly realize you can't because you shot it in 24 frames a second and not 60 frames a second or higher. Well, actually, you can if you edit in DaVinci. Let me show you how. So if you're not aware, you usually edit in a 24 frames per second timeline, meaning any clip that you shoot at 24 frames per second is gonna play back real time. If you try and slow that down, it's gonna be choppy because it's trying to stretch those 24 frames over a longer duration than a minute, and it's not gonna be a smooth, slow motion look that you'd be used to seeing. If you shoot in frame rates higher than 24 frames per second, then you can slow that down to achieve slow motion. Now, you'll catch yourself in some instances where you end up accidentally shooting 24 frames per second on a shot that you wanted to slow down in the edit. And I have a perfect example of this myself. We were shooting this event video for Roku. It was the end of the night. I was heading to the elevator to leave the event actually. And I noticed outside just the lighting it was blue hour over kind of the Toronto skyline. I thought it looked beautiful. I thought it was going to be a good way to end the video. And I have this beautiful shot pulling up on a gimbal from the pool with the Toronto city skyline in the background. I brought that clip into my DaVinci timeline and the movement was a bit too fast. It would have been a bit too jarring to have as that end shot in the video. I needed it to last a little longer and I wanted that motion to be a little slower and smoother. But luckily I knew of this way to create fake slow motion, if you will, in DaVinci Resolve. And I just wanna show you how to do that in case you're in a similar situation ever. So let's get into it. If you go over to your inspector window here, go down to speed change. And here you'll see the clip is actually at negative 100 because it's reversed. The real motion was actually the camera moving downwards, but I wanted it pulling up, revealing the skyline. So I just reversed that clip and that is why the negative is in front of the 100. Just ignore that. And you can tell here, uh, in the frames per second, it was shot at 23.976 frames per second. You could also see here, if I go to the clip information, 23.976 frames per second. So technically, if you slow that down, right? Let's slow that down to 40%, play it back, and you can tell it is very choppy. You don't wanna use a clip like that. Usually, there'd be no way of saving that, but luckily in DaVinci Resolve, you select your clip, go back to the inspector window here, and go down to retime and scaling. So under here, if that's off, you just have to toggle that on there and open it up. And under retime process, it will give you a few options, nearest frame blend and optical flow. So to achieve the most natural looking fake slow motion, I would select optical flow under the retime process. And then motion estimation, you can go and select enhance better. This will require a little bit more time rendering the clip, but it's for the best results. So if your computer can handle it, highly recommend using the enhanced better option there. We'll just render this clip out by going to the start of the timeline and pressing my spacebar to play it out. And if you don't have your render cache on, go up to playback, render cache, and set that to smart. And then that will allow you to render the clip out. So you'll notice initially when you play it back, it's not going to look good at all. And for whatever reason, this always happens to me. I'm not entirely sure if it will happen to you, but if this happens, don't worry. It's not actually going to look like that. Select the clip, go back to retime and scaling and just simply toggle that off and on. Go back to the start of the clip, play it back and you will notice that it has disappeared. That distortion and that flickering happening, it is no longer there. Sometimes it still is after the second play. Sometimes you have to do that process a few times and just render it through. And it's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna notice, especially on clips with a lot of motion or a lot of detail. I've only used this in a few instances where there was a lot of movement and been able to get a usable slow motion there. So that's one thing to note. It's not gonna work in every single situation. But in this instance, the motion's pretty simple just again cameras pulling up and if you play that back you'll notice it's now very smooth and with those couple simple steps we were able to take a clip that was shot at 24 frames per second and have usable slow-mo this isn't a perfect solution by any means i'm not at all saying use this for every clip you want to slow down i actually highly recommend you making sure you shoot the clips you want to shoot in slow motion but in the instance that you do forget to change those settings from 24 frames per second to 60 frames per second as you're shooting you have this to fall back on but yeah that's all for this quick tutorial 
tutorial. If you want to check out my digital assets, you can find those at shopcreatorlab.com. If you do purchase something, send me a screenshot of your order. I really appreciate the support and I thank you guys for watching this video. Comment below if you want to see more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. Peace out.